Testing, testing, testing. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay on this late, late time. Blech. Okay, and hopefully it's showing up and not too buggy. I am public, right? I didn't make this private for some reason. sure everything's good. Are we good? Hopefully we're good. Okay. All right, let's see. Thought this was like wet at first. Hey guys, if you're watching this in the future, um, this is just a chill stream where I'm going to be practicing with watercolors because I am rusty as fuck and I have a lot of them and I want to do more with them this year, even if it's uh, not a lot. So this is just an experiment chill stream, so if you guys want to like ask me questions, chill, whatever, we can, we can do that. Hopefully I'm sounding okay. Um, before anybody asks, I am using Core, Q-U-O-R watercolors. Um, I bought this set a while ago. I'll just use black. You're not supposed to use black, but fuck it, I'm practicing, so it doesn't really matter. And um, Arteza water pens. So... People ask me what kind of, uh... Ooh, shit, okay, I didn't want that. That's, this is really... This is really dark watercolors then. Shit. <laughs> well, that makes a neat effect, but, uh... That's not all that I was planning. Bing Snow, Mama's streaming. So, this is already off to a great start. My box looks terrible. But uh, something I always say is, you know, you need to uh, practice to get better. And a big problem I've had, I don't know if anybody else ever had this, but I had like, I don't know, I guess a fear of sucking. I don't know how else to say it. To where I purposefully wouldn't push myself to do things I wanted to do because I was so worried about how it would look that when I look back a lot of my older artwork I'm not proud of it because I remember I had okay I guess this will be the dark side because I did not want this to be that dark um I didn't want to like make bad art if that makes any sense I didn't want my, my art to look like shit pretty much is what I was trying to say Well, again, this is what learning streams are for, right? Um, hopefully it's coming in pretty clear. I'm still learning webcam stuff, too. But, uh, so we'll just put you over there. And I have to learn the magical trip of being patient and letting shit dry because I'm terrible at that, so. Um, but yeah, because of that, there's so many pictures I wanted to make like, I still remember in my head some of the illustration ideas I had, like, years ago. Like, back in high school years ago. And I never did it because I'm like, oh, it's going to look like shit. There's no point. And I'm sitting here now like, man, no one might, like, draw this again so that fun because I didn't push myself. And it's like one of those things where people are like, if you could go back and tell your younger self something, why would you tell them? And I'd be like, fuck paying it safe. Don't play it safe. Do the pictures you wanted to do because then 26-year-old, you might actually have fun redrawing them instead of just being like, oh, kind of boring. <laughs> High school me was boring. I 
I also, I, I technically, like, pr professionally haven't touched watercolors in, well, not professionally ever, but, um, I used to do watercolors and stuff back in high school, but more of, so was it acrylic. It's also really late for me, hence why, um, I have my, my, my lamp that my mom bought me for Christmas. So I don't get ice cream. But yeah, that's why kids, even if you think it's gonna look like shit, it'll probably look like shit, but then older you can look back on it and be like, it's gonna be a fun redraw. That's like really light. Oh well, layers are your best friend with watercolors after all, so yeah. Can you make this drama video? I mean, it's gonna be public once I'm done streaming. I don't really hide my streams. Unless I accidentally dox myself, then uh, then that's a thing. <laughs> don't be listening to this at school. Hi, I love your art. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What watercolors do you use? Um, This is a, the pan is just a basic tin but the watercolors in it are Core, Q-U-O-R, watercolors. And then I use Arteza water brushes, not sponsored because like a year ago, Arteza like went out to everybody and gave everybody like a sponsorship. But not me, I wasn't special enough. I do too much digital art. So um, my friend Aerofix um, had a set and she really, really liked them. And I like the, the, the push thing. So I just went out and bought my own. So, uh, not sponsored, but did use my own money. So, what color should I make the freaking cylinder cube thing? So it's not a cylinder or a cube. What the fuck is wrong with my brain? It's a fucking cone. Jesus Christ, Michelle. Are you okay? You sound sad, at least tired. Oh, no, it's just, it's 4 a.m. And I don't want to wake my husband up. And my microphone isn't close to my face, so I have to talk quietly. I'm not sad or anything. I'm just, I'm talking quietly because it's 4 a.m. And I don't want to wake up my husband because he's in the bedroom in the next room. Okay, have fun. It's a small coffee cup, sleep tight. <laughs> but I got a Kingdom Hearts ad. Well, that's cool. I have a Kingdom Hearts this year. How's your day going? It's going good. Uh, like I said, but I want to do more more stuff like this because I really 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 want to make traditional art and like um oh where's my bag where's my bag thanks where's mom's bag seriously where the fuck's my bag where did I put it is it over there no where did it go oh it's over there well I was gonna show you because my friend my, my friend Bree who I do streams with every Friday uh, on her channel pastel monster you dry yet? You kind of dry. You're not dry. I'm gonna wait. Okay. What color should I make the cone? I got these colors. Ignore the swatches. These are the colors I got. Pick a shade, guys, and I will make it. Cleo doesn't count. This is a shitty doodle of my character to try to fill in. He won't. He won't. Give me an idea for a book that is a collection of stories about high school and college anime clubs. Thanks for the inspiration. Oh, hey, no problem. Okay, orange it is. We'll do, we'll make this an orange bitch. So. What's the one downside is I really wish I could like listen to music on YouTube, but I can't because YouTube's like music. What? No. Uh, just so you guys know, something about core watercolors, which is, it's a, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, but they are very, very, very pigmented. And I'm learning that like right away. I'm not used to such pigmented paints because I'm a cheap asshole and I buy cheap paints because I don't want to waste good paints on practice. Okay. Like this is with a fuck ton of water in the and it's still orange. So, uh, cure, core, however you fucking say it, very vibrant, vibrant shit. But yeah, from the videos I've watched, that is like, 
the thing with watercolors you have to be like either really really patient or jump around a lot and I am very very impatient so I'm like okay jumping around it is go away fly I also, um, I'm trying to stream more on YouTube so, because I do want to stream more on YouTube. Again, it just kind of sucks because I can't have stuff in the background because if I don't have like questions or stuff to go off of, I, I get really quiet. Fun fact about me, I may seem like a chatterbox, but I do not talk a lot in real life. Like if I have nothing to talk about, I shut the fuck up and I, I can like not talk for a few days. That's kind of, that's another reason why I started vlogging was because I was like, at, when I was at San Japan, I completely lost my voice because it hit me that I'm like, oh shit, I've been talking for like four straight days. <laughs> what is that when you're self-employed? You don't do that. You don't talk for days unless I'm doing videos. I know, I know I could use earbuds, but uh, I have a habit of singing and I don't wanna mute. I don't wanna have people deafened by my terrible ears. The key to being up early, don't go to bed. Ah, you're right. Okay. Okay, I think this is dry. Yeah. Let's see if my cube is dry. Random, but did you guys um so i'm not actually a big anime fan cody's much more of an anime fan than me um have you guys seen uh i think it's called serious the jaeger i swear whenever i hear jaeger all i can think of was fucking attack on titan but um it's actually not half bad the foreshadowing though could uh just a little bit a little bit better yeah, that department. Okay. So far, I like my cube. My cube ain't half bad. Okay. Let's go to my my little spherical lady. Well, I would dab a black to you. Let's see how that'll look. I should also probably have a little swatch thing on the side. All the professionals do that, right? They have little swatch sections so they can see what it looks like before they put it down. Yeah, that's what professionals do. I'm not a professional in watercolors. Like, I can't even make this fucking circle look right. Jesus Christ. It's like my really bad marker tutorial video. Fun fact, for a lot of people who recently start subscribing, I actually did kind of make a water watercolor. I kind of made a... Um, like marker tutorial thing on my channel where it's a video I definitely want to redo. My, my opinions are still the same. I, I feel people should, um, they should start off with a, if you're starting off with alcohol based markers, well now there's a lot of cheaper options. So, you know, it's a little different then, but, um, you should start with a like really nice gray set. And then that way with the gray set, you can learn like tones and you can learn how to color. And I'm just gonna fucking color in this circle because I already kind of fucked it up. So you're just gonna get colored in. <sighs> I wonder if my paper is also pretty shitty. I don't know, like, I like my box. I like my box a lot. I don't like my circle. My box looks pretty half, doesn't look half bad. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? Is that a one-eyed Temmy? Uh, no, it's my little mascot, Cleo. Here, I'll show you guys. It's her. It's just a, uh, a bad, 
example of it because I just did something really fast. Okay. Oh, not my cone's still wet. I can see some sparklies. What am I going to do with this orange? Okay, well, Cleo, I guess you're going to be orange this time around. Uh, but, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the anime's not half bad. And I'm not a big fan of anime like I used to be. So, uh... If you like uh, graphic vampires and um, gore, and I sound like I'm like an old woman, like, oh, hello, my name is Rachel. I like to do the cartoons. I need to invest in studio lights like so fucking bad when I get a chance. Cause my light helps, but uh, it's very sterile. I don't like pale light. I'm a very big fan of uh, warm lights, which is funny because I don't like warm colors. Let's see, I think I can do your eye. But yeah, uh, I recommend. I haven't finished it, but the, the anime is really good. See, this is like why I'm terrible. I just kind of go off on tangents. I like old woman Michi voice. It's very dub. What is a dub? But thank you, I think. <laughs> Maybe it is trying to refocus. I don't know. I'm still new to webcams. Why is it refocusing? It's gonna suck when I make videos if it keeps doing- is my hand like throwing it off? Focus on my really bad nail. Hey, it kinda is. <laughs> if anyone knows a way I can like turn autofocus off on this thing, tell me. No, bitch, it's still wet. Are you wet? You're, you're kind of wet. You're not that bad, though. Okay, let's see. Let's just go a little bit bit more black. Oh, the shame is I really like this color. Like the color I just made. But yeah, I, I totally recommend if you're learning a new medium, just do a bunch of random shapes and get to learn it. Get to learn it. Great grammar. Get to know it. That way, eventually, with enough practice, you can make it your bitch. Oh my god, I was talking about fucking markers when I started. That's where I was. Okay, hi, hi. I don't know why I have, I'm having such like an ADD moment right now. Okay, back to markers, because I originally started with markers. Um, back when, like, Chows first started, back when I was in high school, they didn't really have, um, like, the sets that they do now, where they have, like, skin tone, warm tone, cold tone, whatever. It was kind of like you got, like, a basic set. And I remember my very first set of Copic markers ended up actually being... Um, ended up actually being like a set of chows that were all primary colors and I didn't know how to blend markers and it's a really hard to blend marker colors like you can watercolor you know and uh, see there's like no control here they didn't even stay on the lines I'll have to do more but um So practice is for, but now like with all the options they have and all the cheap alcohol markers that are pretty good, you can get like a good variety and just dick around with them. When um, back in my day, all you had was like, you either invest in a really, really big set or you don't invest at all. 
I actually don't have a hair dryer. I don't own a hair dryer. I, I, I very much, all I own is a curling iron. I don't even have a flat iron. I'm very lazy when it comes to my hair. Doing lots of good for you. Oh my God, yeah, this extra monitor has been like a godsend. I'm so happy that I have it. How is Cleo's hair dry, but the fucking extra cone isn't? Okay. Oh no, I used too much. Oh no, I used too much black. Frick. Oh no, Cleo, I didn't want that. I should have gone with a muted color. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. It's so dark. This is gonna look like a shit brown. Oh, it's actually not too bad. It's not the color I wanted. I, I should have mixed a purple in. I shouldn't have used the black. That was my bad. You know what's funny though is um, just a random little art thought thing. Like I know so much now that's like pretty much second nature to me that I think back on when I was younger and I'm like, shit, I didn't know any of this stuff. <laughs> Everybody must shade with gray. I think that's why I get on like such a big thing with it. A lot of people hate that I, I don't, I tell people like when you're shading stuff, don't shade with gray unless you're doing like a monochromatic piece or a lot of dark in the picture. And it's because like I learned that way and I fucking hated it. I thought it looked gross. And then I started using warmer tones and I started using like, um, not complementary colors, but it's the colors that are like opposite of the color wheel, if you know what I'm talking about, I forget what it's called. Maybe it is complementary colors and I'm thinking it's another one. But there's like, you know, you have like your red here, or your red here, and then you're like green here. And so it'd be like, boom. They're really good to, to color together. Actually, I wonder if this color, this actually might be a decent base for like the rest of you, Cleo. Because you're not really a black, you're more of a brown. Uh, it's not dark enough, but it'll work. Um, a couple people were asking, just a random thing since I'm not really looking at the chat right now, but a couple people were asking why I got rid of Tetsu as my mascot, and it's because um, I was talking to my buddy, and they were saying how, like, if you want a mascot, you shouldn't have it be a character for a story, because when the story's done, people will know you from that mascot, and I was like, oh, shit, that's really good advice, so I have this little character I adopted, because technically Cleo isn't adoptable, she was originally created by ink monster on YouTube and uh, she's really good you guys should check her out she doesn't do talking videos but she does speed paints I really like her art and I'm gonna do too many layers this is not as dark as I thought it was you lied to me Pam I'm just gonna do, try to do like one nice layer but um, yeah I had her and I'm like well I have her why not use her and then I'm like, oh, she, I can use her as, like, an embodiment kind of thing. Because, like, I like cats. I like weird things. She's a, you know, she's a cat cyclops. And I don't have a problem with furries. I'm not a furry, but, like, I've worked for a lot of them. Some of my really good friends are furries. My husband's a furry. And so I'm like, oh, see, to each his own. Everybody wins. At least that's dry now. Okay, you look like such a gross brown. <gasps> you weren't dry enough, you're splintering off. <gasps> no!
But yeah, just uh, food for thought. If you guys want to have a little character known for you, have it be like a persona or a mascot or something over an actual character of yours from like a story. Because once the story's done, you know, you want people to associate you with something else. Yeah, it's it's technically a really, really, really dark, like, brownish color. It's not black. She could be drawn black, but it's it's like a very, very dark, muted brown. Too much black. Who are you? Don't you do with me, G. It's not that I don't like black, if you guys know, like, half of my characters so I can dress in black because I'm a goth bitch. And I'm like, oh yeah, I have to have characters that don't dress like me. And or how I want to dress. Oh fuck, I already fucked this up. My cone! See, this is why you practice. Practice so you're not like me. So you don't fuck up and make a weird looking triangle and stuff. My box is really good. I like that box. I still like the box. I think the box is decent. <laughs> My circle could use some work, but you know what, no one's perfect. My circle's coming along there. <laughs> I don't like that you're like all spread out though, Box. Why do you have that little section right there? You're the one thing I'm proud of right now. Don't, don't, don't let me down. No, oh, fuck. Uh, I had to fuck it. Well, of course. It's all pregnant now. It's like all, it's all rounded. I have a persona I've had for years. She's also, she's also a character in a story. And now I'm debating on keeping her as a persona, making a new one, having an old persona, just my character, my story. Yeah, see, like, that was my thing, was because, um, especially when I eventually get marked out, yeah, it's going to be years from now, and I know it's going to be years from now. Well, I, I do, honestly, I obviously want to be associated with Mark because I'm a fucking writer, but what I would like is, I would really like to, you know, have other things, so it's not just my one thing. Is this brush bad? Are you not clean enough? I don't think you're clean enough. Is that a light? You can't tell. No, the brush is pretty dirty. Okay, let's see. I guess I'll work more on Cleo. Jeez, my cheek don't sound enthusiastic or anything. You're definitely too brown. I do need more black. I mean, it did technically start off as an orange, so I'm not too surprised. Okay, so I have a random idea. So there's this thing I've been wanting to do for a while, and I didn't really know how to do it. Where I was like thinking of doing this this kind of uh, 
I guess you could technically call it a series because it technically is a series where um, I would put my characters in music video outfits for songs that remind me of them because I have a lot of characters for a lot of my stories not just marked where like there are certain songs I have that remind me so much of them and I play like little AMVs in my head of like what would be happening and what they look like and I made you too dark I just ruined it I just ruined this this is, this is exactly why this is exactly what I was saying I need to practice so ew okay you're done you're done Cleo I'm gonna go put you you're gonna go over here sticks like crazy which I mean again it's a good thing I just it's not something I used to but look at my poor pan my pan looks so gross I think my trick is I've been adding too much water I just gotta be, yeah I'm pretty sure I've been adding too much water Again, I'm probably making so many like traditional artists scream right now like oh, look at this bitch not knowing how to take care of her watercolors and not knowing shit we've known about for years and I'm like I know it's that's why it's called practice <laughs> okay okay let's see I'm gonna go get my mini little watercolor sketchbook I'll be right back Like my water, my water already looks so disgusting. This is a new sketchbook, by the way. I bought it for like thumbnails and ideas that I can just kind of throw down. Because I have my other sketchbook that I'm trying to finish so I can have a video out. Because like technically I have one finished already, but it's really, really, very really short. And so I'm like, okay, it's really short, so I don't really want to post it until I have the other one done. Ah, come here, come here, come here. Yeah. you with cons you don't shade the bottom part if you do it looks like you're shading the bottom of the con so that's what I th okay see a perfect example of what I'm talking about this is why I need practice I'm so used to just drawing people and digital art that I've like completely forgotten basic fundamentals why is there a lag what's also really weird is like it's HD on fucking OBS right now but when you're looking at it on the YouTube one is it's being really 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 low res and it's bothering me. Other core. Q-O-R. Core watercolors. Okay, who should I throw? Who should I throw here? Uh, I'll do Tibble. He's a basic. He's a basic boy. And I remember his face. And I can do him pretty lately. Like another thing that I used to do is 
I used to sketch like super duper hard. Like when I would sketch, I would do like when sketching. And then when I would erase, it would look like it wouldn't even erase because it was, I, I pushed down so deep. And so it's like, I learned to get a lighter hand because I remember when I used to try to do watercolor stuff, I could never do it right. So, just do a default face. This is totally losing your nose, but whatever, it works. I'm trying to like push myself more this year too, you know, where I'm like drawing more things out of my box. I say as I draw something totally in my comfort zone. My son, I already fucked up your face. I'm sorry. Yeah, once again, his ear would be like... Okay, I don't know what the fuck this anatomy is right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, my son. I've already ruined it. Ah! I'm only streaming because I haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I always keep my streams live afterwards for like a day or two, and then I put it in an unlisted. I put them on unlisted, but they're public in a playlist that's in my playlist section. That just that's where all my live streams are. Okay, let's see. I think it's I think it's so far away from me. I just feel bad. It's like off screen. kids is why you also need to do warm-ups. I never actually tired of you dying today now that I think about it. Okay. This is looking better. I feel bad that it's off screen again, but it's the only way for me to try to get it right. Put it away so I can smile. The lip boy. A long ass neck, Jesus Christ. Okay. He was just like, hmm? to learn how to draw your hat properly one day because his hat is like this weird little like I don't want to call it a beanie but it's kind of like a beanie because his bangs are so poofy and defy logic by just 
sticking out there. And then I'll just, uh, I'm just gonna do like a popping collar. doodle but it's something I can work with. All right let's get some colors down. Now I'm using um, cheap Amazon watercolor brush number five. No no it is a Transom Art and Brush Co that I bought off of Amazon that are cheap. Oh that one's too small. I need a bigger one. Actually a slightly bigger one that's still pretty. It'll work, okay. You, you'll do. Okay, is that Tobolt? It's not blue enough. I got the turquoise thing going on. I don't really want that. It's like totally off screen so you guys can't see me mixing the paints, but I think I'm getting it. Okay. Okay. I think I got it, hopefully. Okay, so let's get you wet. I got his hair color pretty spot on. I'm rather impressed with myself right now. Alright, let's get the rest of your hair. Sorry I'm being quiet, I'm just focusing. Like this isn't a half bad base color for his hair. I'm actually rather impressed with myself right now. I gotta fix his strands. I don't know what the hell's going on with his hair. It's like all over the damn place. Okay. Boy, you gotta learn to cut your hair. Fun fact, he is actually based off of, his young hair is actually based off of my husband's hair when we started dating. Because Cody used to have this really big, poofy, long hair that always seemed to like shake out everywhere whenever he'd like spin around. And I loved it so much that I was like, oh, I love it forever. And I was so sad when he had to cut his hair. So then I'm like, I know. I will give one of my characters your hair the way he used to have it. Because uh, with his industry job, he can't have long hair for safety reasons. And it makes me sad, but... To each his own. So Tybalt, Tybalt's hair is based off of Cody in high school. He never had blue hair, but you, you get what I mean. I 
Early Capricorn, born the year of the girl. Will you ever stream another marked character design in the future? Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Um, like making a new one? Because all of the current cast kind of has a thing, but I mean, yeah, I wouldn't mind streaming a new one. Yes, lit boy. I hate forever, forever my lit son. Let's see. Sorry for the long pause. I was replying to a role play. Oof, I need coffee. Wait, let's see. How do you, okay, I feel like a dumbass. Do you feel like your art has changed? Sometimes I feel like my art hasn't changed in the past couple of years. Oh yeah, I think my art's changed drastically. But again, I think it's because like when I talked about it at the very start, I never, I never put pushed myself out of my comfort zone and so now that I'm doing that I feel like I'm able to do more things with my art than I never was before okay let's see your colors are always very you have very earthy tones even though you've got blues in you so I want to try to do blue as like a base for a lot of the colors to try to make this combine pretty well so let's get this in there, just to have it. And again, you guys are seeing it all off screen, sorry. Uh, my workspace is very messy. So let's see, I'll have, I'm going to do brown, a very basic. Time for a big brush because I'm just going to fill in the squares of your jacket. Oh, that's really light. I didn't want it to be that light. I thought it was going to be darker. Oh, well, let's make it. Okay. Here's dry. So I can at least do the base for your hat. Okay, good. Uh, fun fact, if anybody ever wants to draw Tybalt, uh, he has to be wearing his hat or some sort of head covering at, at, at all times. It's uh, something kind of important. So he's one of my few characters that like has to always have his hair covered, even though it's just this like big poofy mane that goes everywhere. Okay, now I need to try to find. Do I need to try my water again? I feel like I do. Okay, let's see. Oh no, they're still pretty good. Okay, let's try to find a good skin tone. Why don't we? Oh, that's really. Muddy. Ew, ew. It's like super muddy. I don't like that color. Ew. Uh, I'm gonna add some orange to it. Or just lighten the fuck up out of it. I do not like that. No, that's like bright ass orange. I don't like that at all. Okay, how about you? No, you're still fucking orange. I don't want fucking orange. Why must you betray me like this? Okay, I can 
I want it like this, kind of. That's the one thing I do not like about watercolors is at least for me, it's really hard to try to get skin tones right. I'm like, shit, see, I already made it too dark. Crap. Let's see, maybe I can fix it if I lift it in a bit. That is the light of the eye, you don't go there. Okay. Y'all have midterms in America? I actually never had midterms, but I know a lot of people who did. Let's see. Serena and Red make good skin tone. More or less water. Oh, I could try that. Let's see. Hold on. I mean, I already put a base down, but... Okay. Let's see. That is a better skin tone. Thank you. Thank you for the, the tip for blending the red in. That that looks so much better. So my sad paper towel. Gonna dab you out, boy. And let's see. I'm trying to think of what color to make his undershirt. I could just leave it white. It's kind of boring if it's just white. I'll use blue to highlight it. That's a good idea. Okay, so we'll just... Hopefully when I add line art to it, it won't be so bad. Ah, get rid of his skin.
Let's see, I should probably do a green. Okay, let's put a darkness to it. Oh, see, now we're getting somewhere. That's a good, that's a good one, okay. It's a little darker than I'd like for his hair, but for this practice, I think it'll be okay. Okay, so. To add, no, that's actually fucking perfect. Jesus, okay. So I guess I picked my light source on accident. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, though. Like, like I don't talk a lot if I'm on my own. <laughs> Let's see. Worst part of World Face Week for stuff to dry. Oh, no, I completely agree. It's, like, one of the most terrible things where I'm, like, extremely impatient. What I am thinking, though, what I might start doing if I get better at it, I might end up using watercolors as, like, a base and then going back with Copics later and fixing things up. So I've seen a couple people do that, and I'm like, eh, that would save me time, and I could do bigger Copic pieces that way, and I won't be wasting my ink, because it won't look as streaky. So now my light source be from over here, this side should be darker. The only part I'm like really scared for is the fucking shading his skin, not making it look too bad. Oh, that actually doesn't look half bad. Okay, it's a lot more pinky than I wanted, but if I can raise it. No, 
that's like way too pink. Fuck. The fuck was that noise, Michelle? Jesus. Okay. See, when it's muted, though, it's not too bad. I might just have to dab, dab, dab. Jesus, you look terrified, Tibble. I'm so sorry. I gave you like a really long nose zoom of Jesus. Oh well, that's what this learning's for, right guys? Okay. Thanks, Tibble. That's a better color. Why didn't you give me that one when I swatched you? Crap, it's like totally out of focus. You're slowly coming to life, my zombie pale son. <laughs> it's not actually looking half bad. What are you doing awake? It's called I haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> Yeah, I have hands. Uh, gross, broken, used to have acrylic nails hands. I know, right? It's so weird seeing my hands in a video. I never make videos like these. Um, I also have a face. Let's see if this won't make me look gross. I don't know how zoomed in it is. I have a face. How zoomed in is this? Oh, I'm upside down. Well, even better. <laughs> you just get upside down me. Okay, let's try to get this back to being focused. No, no, it's not focused. Webcam. Why, why'd you fall? No, webcam. Stay there. Okay, fine. Stay there, I guess. Rude. Alright. Okay, let's see. I want to make this more vibrant. It's really pale. I want to make you more vibrant without ruining the picture because I'm really worried about ruining it. something about me. I like my vibrancy. Oh, that could be how I just, uh, just blend it out. Smart move, Michelle. You, you solved your own problem. You look like such a derp with your eyes cross-eyed like that. When I draw you cross-eyed, <laughs> You know what, now I'm talking to myself. Be one of those like, hey guys, look what I can do. Huh? <laughs> oh. God damn, that is totally something he would fucking say too. And then would just be like, that's, that's great. Congratulations.
I'm like super worried about it. Oh crap, some of the blue already blends in. Oh, darn it. Oh well, nothing's perfect. Okay, I think now besides like blending parts out, that should be okay. And I'm gonna quickly like just, just kind of add water and blend things out. Or I'm gonna totally ruin it. Take your bets now. Is Michi gonna ruin it? Or blend it out and then it looks better when she does the line art because uh, looks like she's ruining it. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? What did I miss in the chat? What's happening? I feel terrible. What's happening in the chat? <laughs> okay, have fun at school. Will the stream be available to rewatch later? Yes, yes, it will be. But I have a feeling it's going to be pretty boring. Because <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, I don't talk a lot, sadly. Okay, let's see. I want a color for the background to really pop. I'll do a green. Do you have a lime green? Or a close to lime green that I can use? Okay, let's see. You're kind of greeny. Ooh, that's a good green. Yeah, you're a very earthy green. Okay. My water's actually really dirty. I'm gonna use one of my watercolor brushes. If there's water in you. There's water in this one. Oh, it's too much water. Darn it. Okay, so my evil plan didn't work.
I should totally redraw this digitally and just show how like, huh, look. This is where you practice because my digital stuff looks so much better than my traditional stuff. Shit, too much water. Well, this makes a pretty cool splintering effect. There it was, and then I had to ruin it. Is that just a raw bead of the watercolor that came off? Oh, it was. Shit, that's not good. beads of the watercolor yay totally not what I wanted but whatever oh thanks you okay this is that this is that this pops the color that you like so I'm just gonna let this dry and then once it's dry I'll add some inks to it and hopefully the inks will help a bit so we'll just we'll just boot this up there oh thank you Armani thank you Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. How you guys doing? It's actually really early. Fuck, I said that really loud. <laughs> Late night ASMR with Michi. Why does it look so blurry? I have no idea why on YouTube it looks so blurry. I have like perfect stream health. And like on OBS, on, on, on OBS itself, it's like really clear right now. I have no idea why it's that way. Like see, Tybalt himself is dry. But I don't want to fuck around with the background. Like I feel like if I ink it, I'm gonna end up pushing on the background. So I'm gonna set you aside for a hot second and clean off my palette again. I think 
like my issue is that on top of being impatient, I don't like losing my colors. And with watercolors, you're supposed to like mix a lot of colors. So when I find the perfect color and I only have a little bit of it, it makes me very sad because then I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna get it again. Hello, hair. What are, what are you, hair? What are you doing there? Hair, get out. Stop. I know I could totally do a much better job of cleaning my palette. So again, sorry that I sound very tired or quiet. I just uh, don't want to wake up my hubbins. Okay, it looks like it's almost completely dry, which is a good thing. Are you gonna play Hollow Knight again? Uh, yeah, I'll probably play some Hollow Knight. Probably later on tonight, tomorrow-ish, depending on my sleep schedule. Because I technically, I haven't gone to bed yet. Is it Saturday for you, Michi? Uh, no, it is Friday. I live in California, in the USA. Nowhere, nowhere. Does, are my ink pens in my bag? I think they are. Let's see if we giving him some some good thicky lines either ruin this or make it better. Okay. I'm gonna scoop this up a little bit because I want this closer to me. I'm sorry I gave you such a big nose, Tibble. I didn't intend to. I think it was still wet because it looks like the ink is splintering a bit. Or maybe it's just me. Am I imagining it? It feels like it's splintering. Yeah, it's definitely splintering. You felt dry? What the fuck?
still feel bad I gave you a giant schnoz, Tibbled. I'm sorry. And yes, I do apologize to my characters. Because they're real to me. Brush pen makes it look so much better, but his nose, his nose really fucking bothers me. I don't know why I gave you such a big nose. I think it was just the coloring, and then I didn't shade it too well. Looks like such a little derp. But yeah, the line art definitely fixed a lot of it for me. So, I think... Ah, oh, crack. I'm going to end the stream here, guys. Thanks for coming for my little test, hangout, practice strum. I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. And I will see you guys actually later on today. Um, Brie and I will be streaming on her channel for our normal Friday night stream, which is Pastel Monsta. So, I love you all. See you guys later. Smetches. Bye. And uh, have a good night's rest if it's the nighttime or a good day at school if you're in school. <laughs>